pretty princess. Hello. Hi, Storm. I'm so glad you're not kicking. Hello, Finn. Hello, Finny Finn. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today's glorious. Waking up to my rooster crowing is such an amazing thing. It gives me goosebumps. I feel so excited. Like, to think I never even wanted a rooster, for goodness sake. You look so Did you run all the way here? And I'm so lucky to be yours. He ate it? Yeah. The whole thing's gone? Not the whole thing, but it's a lot smaller. You've been eating your new licket? You better thank your uh, lucky stars for Sophie. Sophie, you gotta ride him. And you taking me Hello, princess. Like when we started our vlogs, we used to get up in the morning, do our hair, get dressed, and get out to the bus as fast as we can. And now so much has changed. We wake up in the morning and come down and, and visit our horses and then go back up and uh, do chores, have breakfast, then do school, then spend more time with our horses. Like it might not be for everybody, but it is so rewarding. Mom, oh, oh my gosh. Wow. He's gonna have energy for I'm days you, today. I think Gracie needs one. <laughs> she doesn't have a stall to put in right now. I know. So I don't know about Gracie, you guys. She's not used to a stall, and when I put her in a stall, she's like, get me out of here! I know she'd get used to it though. We still plan to board our geldings at the Lesson Barn for a few months this winter so that they can, so we can go and ride. I'm excited for that time. I'm excited to get up in the morning, do chores do school, and then head over there, just the girls and I, and just play with our horses. Do you guys remember when we used to do that, go to the barn and just play and play and play? Um, here it's not as easy because you don't really have a big indoor. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to do that again. Talking about yourself and you make me smile. I can listen all night long. I tell you about the town when I first met you. Listen to a favorite song. Walking on the street when you caught my eyes. Something about the way you muscle in her sleep last night. At 5.30 a.m. Did you like wrench your neck and then wake up because you felt it? No, I turned. Yeah. That used to happen to me too. It used to happen to me too and I have hurt my neck a few times in my youth. But now, I'm good. I could go a thousand miles as long as guys have noticed but Finn's ground manners have been amazing the last while like he's not they've last night. Th not last night Sophie said but basically I mean when he's getting ready for supper it's a little bit harder for him
believe that Gabby's injured. Like, she rides horses, she jumps, jumps, she does so much. Here, try to know. She gets injured. Gabby's injured while she sleeps. She gets injured while she sleeps. So I gave her Tylenol. The amount of times that we take medication and Tylenol is so infrequent. Like, it's just crazy. So we always have really good luck with it. When we take medication for pain, it affects us really strongly, really quickly because our bodies are not used to it. Knock on wood, she feels better soon. Almost noon, and the girls have been working away at school. They're kind of in the part of their curriculum for this year that um, they kind of snuggle in and um, it, the house is quiet. The house is really quiet when they're working. I do love when they get in that zone though and they're busy and they're working and they're learning. How's your neck? Fine. Is it feeling better for real? Yeah. Turn it to the left side. She can turn it to the left side now. Uh, she deal? Yeah, she still looks a little stiff and she does. That is that the side you pulled last time? It's yeah. always the left side. Yeah. It makes me wonder if when she rides, she twists her body in a way that makes her left side more susceptible to being pulled or injury. I've been trying to get her house ready for fall, trying to get stuff done. Today I organized and cleaned out Gabby's closet. It was like a big, huge mess. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Gabby only wears like three shirts and maybe three pairs of pants. She never ever changes them. She just rotates them back and forth. And I think part of that reason is because she can never find anything in her closet. So I organized that for her. I did Sophie's last week. Anyway, I'm pretty much done at the house, but I have a lot of things that I want to get done down at the farm. It is time for Sparkle to finally go in with her friends. Are you ready, Sparkle? Are you ready? <laughs> Ruby's like, I'm ready, let me in. Sophie was just out here giving them treats. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, Sparkle. All right, be kind to her. We are a kind family. Wow, that worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Also, I am gonna um, lay down some more straw, some dry straw. And I'm going to put another feeder in here because I find that whenever I add like another chicken, hey, that is my ring, you rude girl. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm being attacked. They're all coming for me. Oh no. <laughs> Our chickens are not scared. Oh, look at how gorgeous you, hey, get away from my ring. Oh, look at how tiny she is. I feel really bad for her. I feel like she's really thin. She's like, holy moly. And she's had all her own food for the last few days. She's tiny. putting up a tarp up here and he put some glass like some old doors well they're not old these are nice doors that we bought that we're gonna install somewhere uh, he put them up against there so the rain wouldn't come in so badly yeah so that's working out not too bad although he's right after her I know their their space is not big enough for them we are working on that Sam is working on that Anyway, lately I've been finding it really relaxing and fun to come down and do chores in the afternoon and start before the girls. It's like peaceful and quiet and calm for me. Hi. Hi, ladies. I see you ate all your breakfast. Hi, Willow. Hello. Why won't you ever let Gracie come to the door? Do you guys remember when Gracie used to always come to the door? Gracie. It's always Willow, though. It's always you. You're always the one to meet us. What's the matter, Stella Bell? I don't know. She seems off. Does she seem off? Let me look at your feet, Missy. One of the hard things about having horses and not knowing a lot, probably the hardest thing, is that I need to wait for Fiona to come this week, probably hopefully tomorrow, to do lessons with us at home before I can tell if Stella's lame or if she's sad or if storm is sound like Gabby pretty much knows but I don't have the confidence it takes to make those kind of decisions so um, 
yeah, like it, it makes me nervous. It makes me, but I mean, the worst thing that's gonna happen is she just walks around and does, we don't ride her for a while if she's if she's still off. But I'm gonna check her feet and run. I just did feet in a mare field, like in a field where they could have went galloping off at any moment. The thing is, is that they all want their lunch. So they're all like, I'll just stand here and do whatever you want if you feed me. Yeah, they, they use me, you guys. Girls are like, I'll love you if you give me food. But then once they get what they want, poof, they're gone and they don't care. The pads that still has in her feet have like an added thing where they put pressure on her feet to kind of try and induce blood flow like push the blood make it flow to her feet and kind of help correct issues that she could have so they're not meant to be used forever but i'm hoping that they do something good for her but it makes it hard to pick her feet because you're not supposed to pick her feet but outside of that she's got a bunch of rocks so obviously i have to pick them anyway i'm going to throw lunch and then um start choring Okay, so literally I just finished filling the last water bucket and Tweedledee and Tweedledee 2 just arrived. <laughs> I was going to say Tweedledum, but none of you guys are dumb, so. Anyways, they just arrived and Sophie made a list of things we need to do. Stalls, grooming, riding, feed, poles, playing, jump, and water. Well, stalls are finished, so you can check that off. Grooming, nope. Stalls is finished. Feed is finished. Water. Playing. Nope, we didn't play. P feed. All right, so we're on poles. So the girls want to set up the poles. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess we're going to like do some playing with our horses now. The girls are done school. It's a glorious day outside. And we're going to do some fun stuff. I might actually poop pick the mayor's field.
don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.